Uh, Jimmy, let's talk about your new project. Jimmy Carr, of course, one of the best, if not the best, comedian in the country. And that was even proven recently. They did a, a weird test, didn't they? I where saw they, that. They got you and a bunch of other comedians. They, they, uh, uh, did they actually just analyse the concerts, or was it...? I think, they pl I, I think what they did, it was some, some scientists with time on their hands, scientists. right? Scientists. There were other people are dealing with COVID vaccines. Yeah. These scientists went, right, who's the funniest comic? <laughs> so they, play, they played people an hour of comedy, and then they, they said how long are people... They take the laughter and said, how long are people laughing for? And I'm scientifically oh, proven to be the funniest. He got the most laughs. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, yeah, yeah. Make it. I think it was just. Don't take this. Don't take this the wrong way. But I was surprised. <laughs> uh, because... How could I not take that the wrong way? Well, because <laughs> because you're up against Michael McIntyre, you're up against Peter Kay, and those guys are the Fuck titans. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> No, you, know, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, actually, Mike, Michael texted me on the morning, going, "My lawyers are looking into this." <laughs> <laughs> but I know it's a bit of fun. It's just nonsense. But yeah, but it, what know. a great result for you. It's great. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh, we still about what you're doing now, though, because in a way, it couldn't be further from your live work, which can be edgy, dark, quite sophisticated, and quite grown up. But you're doing more of a broad mainstream show uh, now on BBC One. Uh, it started tonight, Saturday night. I can see your voice. If people didn't see it, how would you describe it? It's it's a it's a crazy idea. So it's a singing show. It's a talent show, singing show. No one sings. No one sings. We get a lineup of people come out and we and we just say who we think might be able to sing based on nothing. <laughs> we just look at them and go, nah, I don't think so. He does so not look like a singer. So what are you doing? It's You're like looking... working at the airport. You're basically profiling people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they sort of walk on and you go, no, I don't know. Those shoes with that dress, no. He can't, <laughs> sing. he can't sing. No, she's holding the mic wrong. Okay. And then the next round, they're miming. And the, the people that can't sing are so good at miming. You're, and we're so full every time. I've never been more certain and more wrong about stuff. You just think, oh, definitely this one. This one for sure. And then... And it, it kind of... The reason I think the show works is in every sort of hour, there's six big moments. Because either they can sing and it's entertaining or they can't and it is funny. We've got a clip <laughs> and it does, it does look like far bit for me to promote BBC One shows when we've got a crack of an ITV show on the same time. But <laughs> let's have a look at this. This does look like great fun. It's got to be bad. Please be bad. Please be bad. Come on, she's got to be bad. She's got to be bad. Good luck. like a lot of fun. It was so fun. It was also, we filmed it in sort of the second lockdown, and so just to be out of the house, and it was, we were kind of thrown together. It was me, Alison Hammond, and Amanda Holden, and we had the best fun together. Yeah. And it was Paddy just... Guinness hosting, and Paddy's great fun, of course. Although you all look like you're in the Witness production programme, because he's dyed his hair blonde. You've had a lot of work done. It's like, I can't <laughs> <recognize> <laughs> I've had a lot of work done. He has had a lot of work done, hasn't he, Daisy? You I'm living that. proof. Uh... You can polish your toe. <laughs> You you look, you're, maybe you, you can't good. polish your turd, but you can roll it in glitter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I should mention the game of talent is on ITV at the same time, so you've got two. No, you don't have to mention that. Yeah, but don't have to mention that. Oti's on it. Uh, Oti's on, uh, uh, on that me, show as a guest. That. I need to mention it. ITV early evening. I wouldn't <laughs> risk it, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, if you were using the skills you've acquired on that show, looking at us here, who would you think would be who would sing if we walked out on that show? Oh, I would go. I would go. Daisy, my you go, Daisy. Daisy, have you got a good voice? Have you Daisy? got a good voice? Can you sing? You look as if you might be able to sing. I can sing like a man. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you want to hear? Yeah. I would, I would love to hear, yeah. Bring him home. <laughs> <laughs> Bring him home. <laughs> I don't know about you, I thought Tony Hadley was in the room. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr. Thanks for taking a break from the pornography to watch my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Now, back to jerking off.